Hello techies. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to capture UI elements for a web page. And also we have learned how to add UI elements for a desktop application in Power Automate Desktop. In this tutorial, we will learn how to handle dynamically changing UI elements in web page. For an example, if you see on my screen, I have opened happybots.in slash employee onboarding process.html. In our previous session, we have captured the UI elements such as first name, last name, job position, all these UI elements we have captured. If you observe these UI elements having static attributes, these attributes values will not change every time that you reload the web page or restart the application. Now, if you see, I have captured all these UI elements. Let me refresh once again. Now, if you observe the first name and the last name and the job position, whenever you are going to capture the UI elements, they will not change. Let me go back to Power Automate Desktop. There, you can see first name over here as a first name UI element. Let's click on Edit. And there you can see input ID equal to first name. All right. How can you say these attribute values will not change? Let's right click on that and then click on inspect. And then I'm going to select first name from here. If you see over here, the input ID equal to first name, name equal to first name and the placeholder is first name. If I'm going to refresh once again, or I'm going to reload the page once again, then I'm going to select the first name over here once again. There you can see I'm having the input ID, first name, name equal to first underscore name, and the placeholder is as is before loading the pages. Now, what if UA elements having dynamic attributes or non-static element attributes, how can we handle these UI elements? Let me show you an example. Let me go to rphchallenge.com. And there you can see I'm having phone number, address, email, role in company, company name, last name, first name. These are all the fields, input fields, which I have in this particular page. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to right click and then I'm going to inspect each and every input field over here. Now let me go to the selector and then I'm going to select email for the first time. There you can find input ng content reflect name equal to label email ID and the ID you can observe over here Q U O N N. It's a dynamically it is going to be generating the ID. Now once again for the email ID, let me refresh the web page once again, and then once again we'll capture the or inspect the UI element for the email ID. Now once again let's inspect for the email ID. There you can see previously the position was there in the under in the place of role in company. Now it has been moved to the top position, right? Now let me select that. Now you can see the label email having right the input type and there the id has been changed this is how it is going to be dynamically changing the values of the ui element attributes over here in the particular page how can we go ahead and handle this kind of ui elements dynamically changing attributes dynamic web or ui elements consist of dynamic attributes the attribute values may change every time that you reload the page or restart the application. In order to handle them, we need to customize the corresponding CSS or UI selectors within the control repository. Now, let me show you how can we handle dynamically changing UI elements. Now, let me go back to Power Automate Desktop. I'm going to add UI element. And there, by using UI element picker, first, what are the things I'm going to do? I'm going to capture the frame appears around it, right? So now I'm going to capture the email and then I'm going to capture the UI elements. I'm going to use control from my keyboard and left mouse click from my mouse to add this to the UI elements. Let's select that. Now, if you see the input text, we got it as input text UI djl right now once again let me refresh the page and then once again if i am going to re capture the ui element for the email id i'm going to use control on the left mouse click to capture the ui element then you can see the difference over here for the first time i have captured ui element for the email at that time i got it input text 
as input text ui djl for the second time after reloading the page i got the same u element that is email related we got it as input text as g7 ypr right in this case how can we go ahead and handle these situations over here let me click on done there you can see under the ui elements we got the same values but to handle this dynamically changing ui elements we are going to modify this ui elements corresponding with css or ui selectors now to rename this ui element what we can do we can click on f2 and then i'm going to give it as email one for the first time and then the second one i'm not going to use it i'm going to delete this for the time being and then to handle this ui element every time the position is going to be changing right at that time it is unable to identify the ui element for the email i'm going to click on edit and then i'm going to edit once again the selectors of the ui element for the email let me click on edit there you can see i'm having selector builder there you can see the structure or hierarchy over here first i'm having body inside that i'm having div tag and after that i'm having form and inside that there you can see i'm having div email and that input text is i'm having input text over here as input text ui dzl this is the id which has been mentioned but for every time we're not getting the same id for the input then i'm going to make it the changes over here now going back to the custom and then over here i'm going to change the values over here i'm going to give the jquery selectors over here so we'll write the query in such a way like input right you can see over here the input how can we write the value for the id over here now let me go back to the uh, rpachallenge.com page and then i'm going to first i'm going to inspect that for the email let me mouse over the inspect on the email so we will get the value which is not going to be modified over here what are the values who are not going to be modified there you can see label email is every time that we are going to get it right so that i'm going to capture this entire ng reflect ng hyphen reflect hyphen name equal to label email i'm going to copy this and then i'm going to give it inside my input id equal to label email all right or else this is one of the way that we are going to do that and then i'm going to update this or else there is another way also to do that okay so in that case what we are going to do if you observe over here i am having div container right inside the div container if you mouse over on the div container i am having email so this div contains email then i am going to make it as input over there how can we go ahead and write it in a second format i am going to make the same changes in the same email and i am going to click on edit then over here i'm going to add new i will say div which contains div contains email then we are going to give it as input this is the one which we are going to give it this is jquery selectors related functionality and then i'm going to click on add all right let me see over here if anything is working then at that time i'm going to use this any one and then i'm going to click on close all right now to know this one is for the email it is working or not i'm just going to use launch new chrome let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now i'm going to give the properties for the launch new chrome launch mode is launch new instance and the url i'm going to give it as www.rpachallenge.com and the window state i'm going to give it as maximize and then if you see advanced i will wait the page still loads so wait for the page load and then i'm going to click on save now to see this ui element that is email is working properly or not i'm going to use web form filling actions under browser automation let me go to the browser automation and inside that i'm having web form filling actions there i am going to use populate text field on the web page with a specific text let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace and i am going to give the parameters for the populate text field on the web page first one is the web browser instance that is a browser instance which we got it as an output for the launch new chrome so that i am going to use browser 
and the UI element. Now I want to fill the email ID, right? So that I'm going to select the UI element as which will comes under the web page. I'm going to select it as email. And then I'm going to give the email ID over here as basha.amir86 at the rate of live.com. And then I'm going to click on save. So we have already opened the new browser by using launch new Chrome so that I will close the browser by using close web browser action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. We are going to close the web browser for the web browser instance that is browser instance and then I'm going to click on save. Now our small flow is ready to check that the particular email is working or not which we are going to give it by using add new UI elements which are dynamically changing their attributes whenever we are going to load the page. All right. Before going to run this flow, let me tell you one thing for the UI element. Now what we have done for the UI element email ID, we have added two values over there in a such a way. One is input. I have given it as one value. Another one I have given it as div, right? So that we have to give only one value. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output by clicking on run flow execution started. It is trying to launch new Chrome for the URL that is www.rpachallenge.com. Once the page has loaded successfully, it will try to capture the email for the ID which we have given. Now email ID is in this position right in our web page. So you can see email has been populated with the text value that is basha.amir86 at the rate of live.com. Now the email ID will changes his attributes, right? We need to handle that by giving the custom CSS, right? We'll see once again that the particular email UI element, which is dynamically changing the attributes will capture or not by clicking on run flow execution started. Previously, the email position was there on the top most right right now the email ui element has been changed to you know dynamically from one place to another place now what it will do it will it will be populated in the text field as basha.amir86 at the rate of live.com even the position has been changed right this is how we are going to handle the ui elements which are dynamically changing the attributes all right I hope you understand how to handle dynamic UI elements as part of this tutorial. Along with that, I will give you a small reference for the jQuery selectors. To learn about the jQuery selectors, go to w3schools.com slash jQuery slash jQuery underscore reference underscore selectors dot ESP. There you will find all the information related to the jQuery selectors with example. You can see over here, you are having a lot of examples over here, how to use the selectors and what type of selectors we want to use it. If you want to get the information about the different UI elements. Thank you for watching Microsoft Power Automate desktop tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye bye. Have a wonderful day.